Welcome to the Old Mission Boat Company's construction videos for the Boardman 14. In this video, I will show you how to prepare the boat for fiberglass. With all of the ropes and clamping boards removed, you can set the boat back on the table setup or let it remain just on the 2x4 rails. Be careful when applying pressure while you're sanding because the 2x4 rails can become unstable. Start by making the deck edge flush with the sides of the boat. You can use a small hand plane to do most of the leveling. Do not attempt to complete the leveling with the hand plane or you will risk scratching or gouging the side of the boat. To avoid damaging the sides of the boat, it is best to apply a wide strip of painter's tape down the entire length of the side just below the deck edge. When your hand plane starts cutting into the tape, that is a good indication that you are almost flush. That should leave just enough overhang that it can be finished with a power sander. If you discover areas where the epoxy squeezed out and left a patch of hardened epoxy, you could use a small hand saw or a power saber saw to carefully cut the patch down so that it can be sanded smooth and flush. Again, use painter's tape to protect the area around the cut. Remove the tape once you start using the power sander. Use a palm sander or a random orbital sander to complete cutting the deck edge flush with the side panel. Use a 4x4 palm sander or a 5 inch random orbital sander with 100 grit paper to round over the edges. Turn the boat over and start with the bottom edge first. It is best to use a consistent motion to round over the edge Work the edge with a circular motion, starting with the sander flat to the side of the boat, then rolling up so the sander is flat to the top. Do this while constantly moving the sander forward and back in an area about 10 inches long. Never stop the motion, leaving the sander to sit in one position. After working the circle for two or three rotations, advance your position about four to five inches, never stopping the motion, and work each area for the same amount of rotations. Be very consistent with the pattern and you will have a very uniform round over. It may take several passes down the length of the boat to get the amount of round over you want. Once you hone your round over skills on the bottom, flip the boat back over and apply those skills to the deck edge, the bow, and the transom. After you complete rounding over all of the edges, you can sand all of the panel surfaces. Change the sandpaper to 150 grit and sand the top and bottom and the sides of the boat. Do not try to remove the epoxy that squeezed out of the wave scarf. Just make it smooth and remove any hard ridges. The dark area will blend in once you coat the boat with epoxy. Use a wood rasp or a heavy grit sandpaper to smooth any epoxy that squeezed out around the handle opening. You should also round over the edges of the opening to make it comfortable for your hand. Check all the wood joints, including the edge of the deck, the bottom panel, the transom, and the bow for any gaps where epoxy didn't squeeze out and fill the joint. Mix up a small batch of thickened epoxy and fill those prior to setting the fiberglass. Remove any remaining dust with a painter's tack cloth or a clean rag dampened just slightly with lacquer thinner, acetone, or any appropriate solvent. If you prefer to work with a more environmentally friendly product, you can purchase products like Rubio Monocoat Cleaner, sometimes referred to as RMC, or use a cloth slightly dampened with water. Allow any solvents to evaporate off the surface before applying the fiberglass. 